Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to look at some very important what are called control characters that you really need to understand if you're going to be working with text files, CSV files, and parsing them and knowing exactly what you need to do with your file in order to extract the data that you need to work with. And we're going to look at what are called the end of line control characters, which are carriage return and line feed. Very, very important because generally they are invisible in your text file and you may not know they're there, but you do have to know about them and you need to know how to deal with them. So here I've got a CSV file open in Notepad++ and Notepad++ has a feature where it will show you the invisible, normally invisible control characters. And we've got another video showing you how to get that functionality. And at the end of each line, you've got these characters CRLF. They are the end of line carriage return line feed characters. So let's take a look exactly what those are, where do they come from, and what do they do, and why are they there? To do that, we have to take a trip back in time and look at what was available for making documents before there were computers. And here what you see is somebody typing on what's called a typewriter. It is a mechanical device that generates documents. And a typewriter was used before you had computers and printers if you wanted to type a letter and send it to somebody on a sheet of 8 by 11 paper. You basically take the sheet of paper, you put it in the top here, and you've got this roller, and you take this handle and you turn the roller and the paper kind of sticks to the roller and turns the paper up to the starting point, and then you start typing. The way the typewriter works is it's mechanical, you've got these keys, so you've got a regular kind of a keyboard, but it's all mechanical. When you press, for example, this B key down here, what happens is there is an arm associated with this B key. It actually moves one of these arms, and the arm has a head on it that is um, molded into the shape of a B character. And typically they have two characters. They have a capital B and a lowercase b on the, the head. You can see up here, each of these has a head. And you push this down and the B arm very quickly slams into this point right here. And here you've got a ribbon with wet black or red ink. And it will slam into this ribbon and slam a B onto the page. So then after it does that, it has to move this over. This up here, this mechanism with this roller called a platen, is a big movable, uh, what's called a carriage. Right? So each time you press a button, it slams the B on there and then moves this entire mechanism, this platen, over by one character so you can hit the next character. So big movable uh, roller called a platen and it's on a carriage. Now, when you get to the end of this line, somehow you have to move this carriage over so that your print head is back at the beginning here. And you also have to move it so that this roller has rolled by one line so that the head is down to this point down here. So there's two movements you have to make when you hit this end of line. You have to move back here and then you have to move down. The movement to move this carriage all the way over to move the head back here is called a carriage return. In computer lingo, it's denoted by a slash R or return. That basically moves the carriage over, which moves the print head over to the left. The second motion is called a line feed or a new line character, which is a slash N. And that is basically rolling this platen by one character height so you can move the head back here. So to get the entire thing to work, to move to the next line, you have two characters. You've got a new line, which rolls the platen down, and you've got a carriage return, which moves the entire carriage to the left. So for those of us who've been around a while, you're familiar with the CRLF, which is a carriage return plus line feed. And that is these two characters, which says, move the carriage over, and then turn the platen by one character to bring it down, all right? So that's why there are two terminating characters to define what your, um, your print head effectively is going to do. 
So cards return line feed, and we're going to access these in our code, and we're going to have to know what's being sent and if we're going to strip them off or use them or whatever. So just like somebody typing on a typewriter has to push a, a big arm to do a carriage return line feed, we need to include those characters in our documents to tell whatever software we have is going to display the document on our screen. We have to tell it, okay, go down to the next line and do a carriage return and line feed. So that's about it for this one. If you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.